for tangent, the double angle formula, we know that tan of two theta equals two over tan theta all over one minus tan squared theta. Again, to prove this, we're gonna use our sum and difference identities. So we're gonna split tan of two theta up into theta plus theta, which is gonna equal tan of theta plus tan of theta all over one minus tan theta times tan theta. We simplify and we get two tan theta all over one minus tan squared theta. And that's it. Hopefully this gives you some understanding of where our double angle formulas come from. They actually do come from our sum and difference formulas. And now we're going to use them to solve some problems. This first example, we're going to determine the value of double angles. All right, we're told that cosine of x equals negative 2 over rad 5. And we're also told that sine is positive. Okay, well first, just to make sure we have a good understanding of this, This puts, cosine is negative, puts us in our left side of our circle, and a positive sign puts us in the right, or the upper half. That means we are firmly located in quadrant two. We can now construct a right triangle. Where this is our angle X. But cosine is negative 2 over 5. This is our adjacent and our hypotenuse. So our adjacent side will be 2. Our hypotenuse is, or negative 2, our hypotenuse is rad 5. And we're going to use this information to determine the cosine of 2x, sine of 2x, and tan of 2x. First thing you want to do, let's change the color here. Well, first things first is to draw the triangle. Next, we want to solve for the third side. And we're going to do that using the Pythagorean theorem. So for this third side, we know that a squared plus negative two squared is gonna be equal to the root of five squared. We get a squared plus four equals five, a squared equals one, a equals one. Now that we have our third side, we can solve our double angles. All right, to solve this, we want to realize that we already know cosine of x is negative two over rad five. We now know that sine of x is opposite over adjacent, that's one over rad five, or opposite over hypotenuse, that's one over rad five. And tangent of x, which is opposite over adjacent, is gonna be negative one half. We're going to plug these in to our double angle formulas. So sine of 2x is going to equal 2 sine x cosine x. We use our values up here, and we see that that's going to be 2 times 1 over rad 5 times negative 2 over rad 5 which equals negative four over five. Next, we'll solve for cosine of two x. Okay. 